So just looking at the end of Brighton Rock from 4 minutes 57. <laughs> We get from the D string, hammer on to two, and then open G, and then pull off on the D string, and then second fret of the A string. So that's a pattern that then repeats itself down a string. So I'll play that pattern one more time. D string, G string, D again, and then A, always using open and second frets. that all down a string and then instead of the second fret we use the third fret on the very low E and then we're going to go play an open E but then we play an A chord and then open E and then G which is the third fret of the E string so I'll play it through one more time happens just not the the chord at the end and it, instead it goes to like a free time soloy thing so I'll just play that slowly we're gonna go open E we bend on the G string on the second fret up and down and then pull off and then two and zero on the D string two Zero on the A string, three on the E string, zero, 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 and then A. And that's your final chord, which is a really common one. Seventh fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, eighth fret on the B string. That's an E7 sharp nine. And then you can play the bottom E as well.